Hello, I'm Ineas from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be um, going over the tutorial series from uh, Premiere Pro. I will be going over the interface. Um, if you haven't seen the introduction tutorial um, yeah, video, it's not a tutorial, and then you go, uh, can go and check that out. But if you didn't understand anything about that video, I completely agree. Um, if some people are just starting out using uh, video editing software, um, they probably don't understand anything about that, but sometimes I just start basling around and uh, I suppose that you guys understand. I'm sorry for that, but it's not that important and the most important thing is that you can go and start editing your video footage. So that's what we're going to do right now. So um, over here you see the interface of Premiere Pro and most likely it will be different from your interface, but you don't have to worry about that because we can actually just um, take and uh, take care of it all by ourselves and we can uh, go and make our own interface and in my case this is my interface and I think it's the most easiest and most logical interface there is for Premiere Pro so I've closed all the windows that were open at first so if you go to Premiere and then you go to window in the menu items um, you go to workspace uh, you probably have the um, editing workspace and as you can see, it's a lot different than mine. So what I've uh, what I've done is just uh, personalize it a bit, like um, source clips. Um, I'll put that right over here in a new window. Well, I'll drag it out. If you drag and drop it somewhere, uh, it should be um, over there. So you can just drag and drop all the tabs. And then here we have the audio mixer. For now, we don't need that. And the meta that that we don't need it. Uh, anyway so uh, the project I've put it right over here because in uh, After Effects I know I'm not sure if you guys have used it before but the projects um, will go over here and just to keep it logical and the same as After Effects I've put my projects in here uh, I'll be explaining later on what all these steps are and what they do so um, no worries uh, over there um, the effect controls I will put them next to the source over here the effects I'll drag and drop them at uh, projects and if you have a different interface than this um, by example you have another version of Premiere uh, you don't have to worry uh, as well because you can go to window and then you can see all the windows available so uh, if you for example need effects you click on effects and then you just um, drag it that way so um, the media browser we don't need that info no markers and history we can close this down and the reason why I'm closing all these things down is because they use RAM and uh, it will slow down your software not that your computer can't handle it while it's open and it won't do anything harmful you can still edit your footage but just to keep it clean and neat um, I like to close all these windows that I don't use for the moment so um, the uh, tools over here I will try and drop them uh, on top over here so should work no yeah there you have to see this green line and um, of course it's way too long so and uh, way too too high so we will just drag this down just like this and now we have something like Photoshop right over here but um, Photoshop it's on the left but it doesn't really matter if you like it on the left more like uh, like so you might do it on the left as well like this it's all up to you, um, but my preferences go on the top, so I'll be doing that over there. Okay, um, so now we have our sequence. Um, this one, we we can use it, but I don't really use it a lot. So I'll also uh, close this down, and I don't see the close tab, so I'm not sure. Um, go over here, audio mixers, and you can just click this, check this off. No, we can't. Oh, I always put it next to my video over here and then I just make it really small. Okay, there we go. So you can still see um, how loud your audio is and then we will take this and drag it over here. And now we have our source clips here, our sequence and our project. Okay, so now what you wanna do if you wanna save these uh, tabs, you can go to Windows, Workspace, 
and new workspace. And then you can rename it. And for me, it's Routina Display. So if I click on that, uh, you can see my audio mixer is over here instead of it there. It doesn't really matter. Um, then you have saved your own preset, and then you can use it all the time uh, if you're if you're moving or something like that. So um, now I'll be going over all the window tabs and what they do. So over here we have the tools, and that's all. And that are all it tools to edit your footage, like uh, sliding it open uh, or moving it, dragging it, uh, track, it uh, track select, um, yeah, the hand tool to move around in your footage, um, all those kind of things, uh, the pen tool, zoom tool, they are in here. So um, most of the time you won't be using them because you will have to learn the, uh, the short keys for those. But um, at first you will be uh, using those um, or you can go for the same keyboard that I have. I've made a giveaway a while back. Um, but it's over now, so unfortunately you can't uh, win it anymore. But I have a keyboard with all the shortcuts for Premiere Pro um, on the keyboard written down. So you can go check out that video so you can see um, which keyboard that I'm talking about. It's a really handful, uh, helpful keyboard to, to memorize, your, uh, memorize your shortcuts for the keyboard and to work uh, a lot faster. And so your workflow will uh, improve uh, using that keyboard. And that's from editorskeys.com. So um, if you'd like to check it out, go to the website. I will put a link in the description if I don't forget it. Um, else you can just remind me in the comments that I should. Um, okay, so that and those are the tools. And then we have over here the project panel. And that's where everything will come down uh, from your footage. So your video footage, audio footage, um, your sequence. And your sequence, uh, I will explain that later. It's like, uh, well... I will explain it later. Then we have over here the effects panel with all the effects you can apply to your audio or to your video or video transitions and stuff like that. That's in the effects panel. So you will be using that as well. So I've put it next to the project so you can swipe, uh, swipe like this. Um, then we have the effects controls and th those are the effects applied to a particular video that you can uh, manipulate over here. Then you have the source clips. Um, if you double click on the project panel uh, on a source, on a, on a video footage, uh, you will see the preview over here, so the raw footage actually. And then we have over here the um, preview panel and that's the real time uh, preview of everything you've been editing and all the effects on it. So um, this is a preview without effects, just the standard video. And this is a preview with the effects and all the things applied uh, in Premiere Pro. And then you have here play options, go back one frame, go forward one frame. Uh, frames are uh, how many um, times you see a picture in one second. Um, for film, that's 24 frames, by the way. Um, in America, it's uh, a little different. I guess it's, uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's uh, 30 frames over there. Um, but for most films, um, they use 24 and it's, um, yeah, a little bit better and quality and the movie look is uh, 24 so nothing to worry about that um, it's not as important that you uh, don't understand it as long as you're using it uh, I, won't, I won't go into that uh, too much and then last but not least we have our, over here our sequence and that's actually our timeline uh, sequence is like a composition and after effects if you have used after effects before if you didn't that's just a package um, a group of your edited uh, and montaged uh, video footage actually so your timeline in a group layer so if you double click it it will open that timeline if you make another sequence click on that sequence you will have an entirely different timeline where you can um, put a lot uh, different footage and then if you put those two sequences together you will have a complete uh, movie or something like that but um in most cases you will only use one sequence unless you're going for a full length uh, film and you want to keep things organized and then you want to go uh, for more sequences. But um, in this case it's not as important and I just want to learn you the basics so you can get started on your footage. Uh, so this is a timeline, over here you can uh, select everything that should be rendered out. So everything in um, between these orange uh, lines over here. Uh, will be rendered out. So if you have uh, footage from 1 minute 30 and it's only selected 1 minute, it will only render out 1 minute. And rendering is exporting your video. So 
um, actually seeing the video and making a file of your video that's uh, called rendering. And then we have over here all the layers and that's where you wanna import your video footage and your audio footage. So um, that will be um, over here. Your timing, um, over here you can zoom in or zoom out. And again, with the keyboard from uh, editorskeys.com, you can all do that by just um, pressing some hotkeys. Uh, so I would definitely recommend checking that out if you're serious about video editing. Um, so I will just plug in my uh, charger because I see I have only 2% left. Um, I have to find it really quickly over here. Okay, gotta plug it into my laptop. There we go, and we're saved. Um, I won't turn off. So um, that was a tutorial on how to get, um, how to learn the interface of Premiere Pro. And in the next uh, tutorial, I will be teaching you on how to import your footage on the correct way and start editing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial, and goodbye.